you, Chair. Uh, two years ago, Minister, you were the Minister of Immigration, and at that time, your department gave your government a very dire warning that at that time said that housing starts had not kept up with the pace of rapid population growth. In other words, it would make housing more expensive because it would fuel demand. There was a housing crisis then, it's even worse now. Who made the decision to ignore that warning? Was it you, or were you told to ignore that decision, that warning? Uh, no one uh, ignored any warnings. Uh, the part of the story that you may not be familiar with is the warnings around what would happen to our health care system. Uh, when I talked to uh, folks in the sector, uh, the warning from home builders that we would not be able to build homes if they didn't have access to talent, the warning from the business community about the massive closures that would take place if we didn't Act work Minister, to... Minister, it was absolutely ignored by somebody because after that warning, in the last eight years, rents have doubled in this country under your government. Rent, Canadians, students, and even newcomers now, as you addressed inside your opening statements, now they're living in cars, they're living under bridges, because the cost of shelter has skyrocketed in this country. You had a report in front of you when you were immigration minister where you and your government were warned that if you continued down the path that you were going, that it would fuel a worse housing crisis, which we see today. That is a consequence of, of, that, of you ignoring that. So once again, who ignored that warning? Was it you or were you told to ignore that and continue down that path? One of the things that's really important for Canada's social and economic well-being is that we don't seek to attribute the very real challenges we're having with housing uh, exclusively to the issue of immigration. And I think it's important that we understand that the rate of interest have changed, that the cost of uh, material Had supplies... Control over both. Mr. Chair, uh, when I'm asked both. a question, do I have the liberty to have the same amount of time to offer a response? time to give a response so what I am asking for members is please no crosstalk yeah, while we're here and and to be able to allow the minister to answer a question please MP uh, Helen respectfully I think the, the the minister continues to deflect away from this from ignoring this this dire warning that his own department gave him minister you and your government had a report in front of you given to you by your own department you guys literally threw it out and ignored the warning that caused the housing crisis that we're in today and made it even worse. Uh, so tell us, what did you do? What was the immediate action you took when that department told you that your current plans were going to lead to a worse housing crisis? Um, Mr. Chair, this is the first time I've heard uh, the Conservative Party openly uh, suggest that the cause of the housing crisis is immigration. Excuse uh, me, that's false. That's point of order. Point of order, point Mr. Of order. Chair. Point of order. That's, you can that's a point of order. Back, Mr. Chair. Point of order. Mr. Halan continues to interrupt. He's done this with prior ministers. He's done, doing it with this minister. I would just ask you, Chair, and I'd ask Mr. Halan to please allow the minister to answer the question. An, an absolute a MP false. Alon. MP Halan. MP Halan. It's, it's MP Halan. Please, stop with the crosstalk. Okay, MP Alon, Chair, allow, was, allow for answers to be given. It was a you, false you, accusation uh, made uh, against point me. Point of order, that point of order, Mr. And, Chair. P point of order, that is order. the third question I have not heard the minister respond to. The time should be given to him right now to actually respond to all of those three questions instead of the okay. melodramatic okay. sort of uh, questioning a that, that the other side made. made without uh, allowing any time Chair, to respond. I will respond. continue with my time. MP Alon, MP Alon, the minister should be allowed to answer the question. You've he asked made, a number of questions. A you have false. not allowed the minister to answer the question. Chair, I'll continue MP Alon, with my the minister will have an opportunity to answer your question. I will continue minister, with my time. The minister and I will has not, the floor. I will not let the minister continue uh, to make Mr. false Mr. Chair, do I have the floor? You have is, the floor, uh, is, uh, Minister. You, Mr. Minister Chair. has the floor. It, no, that's not how this works, the Chair. Minister has a, it's MP shameful. Alon, Chair, it's do shameful I have the floor or do I not? It is, you do have the floor, Minister. And you can answer the question. I will take my time back. Minister, it is shameful that you would tell an immigrant to this country like myself. MP Point Hold of on, order, my, MP Alon. Chair, Point now of you're order, MP Alon. That's not how this works, Chair. It's, MP Alon. It's the crosstalk, MP Alon. I know it's my yeah, time yeah, now, no, Minister. Yeah. I will, uh, Chair. I will continue with my Point time. Point of order, Chair. It is, I, it is, I, Mr. Chair. It is shameful. I, I'm curious if I have the floor or I do not. I believe you are in charge of the well, procedure at yes, the meeting. This. I would be happy to provide an answer to the question. Minister, we want you to answer the questions that MP Alon will, had will, asked. MP Alon had asked some my, questions and allow for an answering of the question, MP Alon. I will move on with my question because the minister made point a, of false, order. I'm a very sorry. false accusation. No. I'm sorry. Point of I'm order. sorry. Point of order. Point of order. I am sorry. Mr. Halam is not allowing the minister this to answer. This is not a point of order. Point of order. Okay. Correct. This Member, absolutely Member, is Chair, a point, that's of not order. Yes. point of order. Yes. Members. Correct it. Absolutely. Members, what we want is respect and decorum. We have the minister here for an hour. The time is ticking away. 
we, what we want is for members to ask their questions and the minister, and if, if need will, be, the officials to be able to ask, answer those questions. Allow for those answers and, to be given is, without is, the crosstalk. And it is my time now, so I will continue. It's shameful no. that the minister would tell an immigrant like myself that we would blame immigration. It's actually the Bank of Point Canada. Of order. I'm sorry, it's I'm going to keep on Canada. interrupting as long as the minister doesn't have a chance to respond. I'm very sorry, this Mr. Chair. This is not Chair. a valid point of order. This is crosstalk. Absolutely, this is a point of order. I'm what? not allowing a Name monologue. The Name the rule. Yeah. There's no rule. This is yeah, and, you better and, and criticize and her. Zero, just like what has been noted here is that, okay, the member can ask his question. The minister will have uh, ample opportunity to answer that question in PLN yeah, without crosstalk. I wasn't done my question yet. I was in the middle of it. Yeah. The so bank point of actually, order, he's asked three point, questions. Point There's been no responses. There's, that's not a question. I haven't asked my question. Let me continue, Chair. The Bank point of, of Canada order. is actually... Point of order. I'm very sorry. There's been no response. I'm waiting for a response this from the minister, Mr. This is not Chair. a valid point of order. This yeah. is crosstalk. Can you please respect the interpreters? Uh, P. Lawrence, you don't have the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm addressing a point of order here. There's a point of order it's going on. It's not a valid one. My point so, of order, yeah. Mr. Chair. What, it, what we, members, like I said, time is valuable and time is ticking away. So we want a question and then we want to allow time I to my for, I will for, give for, the minister time. for an answer. I haven't gotten to my question. So once again, it's shameful that the minister would blame an immigrant and say and, and falsely accuse an immigrant like myself that I would blame immigration. It's actually the Bank of Canada who has said this when they said their policy, current policy report that said population growth is directly fueling rent inflation. It's driving up rent and housing prices because as a direct result of you and your government ignoring the report by your own department, Canadians are spending over 60% of their income on shelter costs now. And RBC even says that Canada is a nation of renters because people can't afford homes. So tell us, what was the immediate reaction when you got that report? Or did you just throw it away? Or are you covering up for somebody? Uh, Mr. Chair, how much time do I have to answer this question? You have time to answer the question, Minister. Uh, thank yeah. you. Uh, first of all, for the sake of clarity, uh, Mr. Howland was my critic while I was the Immigration Minister, and I know him to be someone who supports immigration. When I was referring during my preamble to the uh, blaming immigration as a cause of the housing crisis, it was a reflection of the words that he used in the question, not his personal view of whether Sad immigration that your is government Mr. Chair, do I have the floor? This is uh, very... Uh, I'm happy to... Negative. To sit here and have people talk back and forth, I'd rather talk question. about solutions to the housing crisis. Uh, with respect to the issue of immigration, when it comes to our permanent residency programs, I remain confident that we can continue to have high levels of immigration, but we need to build the houses to accommodate a growing population. We have challenges with our temporary programs in immigration that are not set by the government in terms of the number of people who come. They're driven by the demand that employers use for the temporary foreign worker program or that institutions use when it comes to the international student program. We are implementing reforms now and started, frankly, when I was immigration minister. Okay, minister, I only have a limited Mr. amount uh, Mr. of Chair, time. Mr. Chair, the so member I'll continues move on to talk to my over the answer. Question, May I continue? You did oh. raise, you, you did raise, well, uh, the minister's uh, trying to answer your question. He did not touch yeah, yeah. on Well, uh, it's I because I'm continually interrupted. I I I'm going to continue with my answer, Mr. Chair. If you think I should that. stop, I will stop. Point of order. When it comes to our temporary programs... If you just finish up the answer, and then we'll get to MP Holland's next. When it comes to our temporary programs, there are challenges... Point of order. We need to be very considerate of the interpreter's health. Please stop the crosstalk. Mr. Chair, can I wrap up in 10 seconds? We have challenges with our temporary programs that are driven by folks who have access to these programs increasing the demand they put on the system. To respond to those changes in behavior, we are implementing reforms, including recent reforms Sorry, that Minister, Minister Miller has seconds. implemented, so that we will be able to, uh, to uh, ensure uh, restores about. integrity to the program housing is actually and also gone down reduces 7%. pressure on communities that have seen housing very serious increase in the total okay. number. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I have a point of order. As has often been said, we have to respect our interpreters. Uh, for the last 10 minutes, we've had crosstalk, and this makes it impossible for the interpreters to do their work. They do excellent work for us, but they have to be able to hear what's going on. So I would please ask you to stop the crosstalk. P. Thompson, you're 100% correct. So I apologize, and we all should apologize to the interpreters here. The crosstalk is affecting them. It affects the health and safety of people. So we have to understand to be respectful, decorum, don't scream into your mic. 
allow people to answer questions, allow those to ask questions. Let's do this in a respectful way is what is being asked here. So MP Howland on that, please. Minister, according to CIBC, they gave a grave warning that Canada needs an additional 5 million new homes units by 2030 on top of the ones that are already projected. That's about 1.5 million more additional homes than the CMHC even projected. Your own housing agency, the CMHC, said they had no faith in your government that these homes will be built, just recently in this committee. CIBC says the housing crisis is largely due to a failure in planning. So how are these homes going to get built? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, I've walked uh, people through the bones of the uh, approach to housing during my opening remarks. We're going to see the homes get built when we reduce the cost of home building by putting incentives in place. We're going to see more homes get built when we change the way that communities build homes by incentivizing them to reduce red tape and to speed up permitting Minister, process. Minister, it's been eight We're going years. To see, Mr. Chair, I, again, I, I want to be respectful of my colleagues. Andy Holland, your time is already up, well beyond, actually. So, Minister, fin finish, up, finish up your remarks, and then we will move on to the next uh, MP questioner. Uh, long story short, we can reduce the cost of building by putting incentives on the table. We can change the way cities build homes by putting federal money on the table to change zoning and permitting processes. And we can build an industrial strategy in collaboration with cities, the private sector, nonprofits, and provincial governments. When I actually look at the comparison between the plan that we're putting forward and that that Mr. Howland's party is putting forward, it's clear and, and very obvious the measures that they are putting forward would actually lead to a fewer number of homes to be built than we are already on track to, and we simply can't let that happen. Thank you, uh, Minister and, uh, and MP Howland. And now we're moving to 